hopefully we'll see the next person, the next guest on the show at Ascot, at all the race courses in Britain for, for many years to come. It is, of course, the master trainer, Aidan O'Brien, joining us. Aidan, good morning and how are you? M morning, thanks, uh, Rishi. How are you? I, I'm not too bad, thank you. I'm not too bad. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, primarily, we were hoping to get a little bit of a stare as to what you might have lining up in the Dewhurst next week because we're all excited to see City of Troy in action once again. I, is that the plan for him? Yeah, that's the plan, uh, Richie, absolutely. And is he going to come on his own or will there be someone else joining him? Uh, something could come with him. Um, <laughs> that, that's... Yeah, that has always been his target. Um, uh, yeah, since obviously since he was running the national stakes, that's where um, when he didn't run, that's where we said he was going. So that, that's the time so far, Rishi. And, and how has he been? Obviously, the last time we saw him was at Newmarket in, in, in the summer of the July meeting. How has he been since then physically? Any changes, any alterations to him? Yeah, no, he's done well. He's, he's heavier, bigger now than he was, obviously. Um, but, and he is maturing all the time. Um, but um, Dean rides them every day, and, and uh, Finn Burns to meet there and charge them. And uh, they, listen, they're all very happy with him, Richie, so far. Um, and would it be an option at all for Henry Longfellow? Is he gonna, will, he, will you keep them apart for, for now? I think, I think I think that's the lads are thinking. I, I, I wouldn't imagine they they would uh, run together. Uh, definitely not this year. I, I couldn't see it happening, Richie. Really. And just going back to City of Troy, Aidan, um, I think he excited so many people uh, after he won at Newmarket and, and the, the regard in which you hold him certainly struck a chord with a number of, uh, of racing analysts and fans that all sorts of speculation as to what he could do in the future emerged, that he could maybe run on dirt, he could maybe go for a, a Kentucky Derby. Uh, do you see him as an out-and-out -out turf horse? Um, I, listen, obviously it's by justify, so he probably he is not. Um, he probably uh, could do both, I, I would imagine, if, if the lads decided to do that. Um, um, but obviously he's, he's, he's a lovely, beautiful moving horse. He gets over the ground very easy, but uh, his dad did that as well. He was a very big, long stride and good moving horse. And, and I suppose he's very similar, really. And, and we're not that far away from Champions Day. Um, what, what's the team looking like? How, how strong will it be? Um, sure, I suppose uh, Paddington looks like he's going to go to the mile. Uh, Luxembourg could go to the champion. Um, the Philly just got beaten. The Phillies race in France uh, could go to the Phillies uh, and Mayor's turf. Um, and uh, Kipriot could go to the two miles. Um, so I suppose that would be the, the blunt of it, I, I think, at the moment, uh, Richie. And how is Kipriot, Aidan? How has he been since he uh, came back? Good. Uh, everything has been good with him. Um, We've been happy with his work so far. Um, uh, Rachel rides him in his work. Um, um, uh, Derek is in charge of him with Donal, and, and they're very happy. Patrick rides him out every day, and everybody's very happy with him, really, since. And another two-year-old I wanted to ask you about, Aidan, who I think anybody who watched her in France on, the, uh, on Arc Weekend, um, very excited about what she might do. But opera singer, my goodness, she was impressive. Are we going to see her again this year? Uh, it's possible, uh, uh, Richie, the lads are thinking about America with her. Um, so obviously she's on the back. She did one piece of work the weekend and Dean rode her and, and he rides her every day as well. And he, he was very happy with her. So uh, she's a big uh, filly that's maturing all the time. Um, and uh, she's typical justify as well, big, long stride. And, and uh, the minute she stepped over seven furlongs, like, she just really improved and, and probably will improve going further. I, I wasn't lucky enough to be at Longshot, but I did read the reports afterwards. And if I'm right, I read something which said that Ryan said after the race that he can't wait for Arc Day next year with her. Was that correct? Yeah, that's right. The minute he, the minute he pulled up coming in, and he said that exactly. Yeah, he said, um, yeah, he's looking forward to this day next year with her. So obviously she felt like to him that she would have no problem going way further than a mile and a quarter, or even obviously up to a mile and a half, I suppose, uh, Richie, that, that's what you would have to read into it. Wow, that's very exciting indeed. And, and what I, I mentioned Henry Longfellow earlier, will we see him again this season? Might he go to the Breeders' Cup? Uh, yeah, probably not, I would, I would imagine. Um, I was speaking to the lads the other day and they were saying he was after having three runs and um, obviously and he's, he's won his, uh, his maid in his group race and his group one, you know, so um, uh, I, I suppose, listen, he's still in full work. Um, and, and they can decide to do whatever they want to do, obviously. But I just thought, listening to him, that 
he might not run anymore this year. Um, so many good two-year-olds, and I think you introduced another smart one yesterday at Illinois, and also Diego Velasquez. Just any any plans for for those? Yeah, they, um, Illinois. We we take our time with him. He's a big horse, and, and obviously he's always going to be more of a three-year-old. Um, and obviously a middle distance three year old look, looking at him. Uh, but Seamus was very happy with him. Uh Oshin rides him out all the time and he was very happy up to yesterday. Um and then Diego, uh, he's in very good form. Uh, Stephen rides him every day. Um Rachel rides him in his work and Finn Barnes meet her in charge of him and they're all very happy and the plan always was uh, with him was to go to the Racing Post trophy. So um and uh, so far uh, everything is uh, going according to plan, uh, Richie. Uh, Aidan, I've had the pleasure of sitting next to you occasionally at, at certain functions and one of the things I'm always fascinated by is, is, is this time of the year. There's so much good racing and I remember talking to you about the, the international travels that, that you have to endure over the next uh, few weeks or so. How much do you look forward to that? And I, I suppose we are, everybody does. Um, it's obviously at the end of the year and uh, the best horses are kind of have to fall into the, their slots naturally, I suppose. Um, and, and like it is a busy time with everything going on this time of the year, but it's a very important part of the year, really, um, when the horses kind of all over Europe and the world meet up and uh, we get a clear picture of what everything is. Uh, so I, I suppose it, it's very exciting. Obviously, the season goes right up to Christmas nearly now, into the middle of December in, in Hong Kong and uh, and starts early in the in the new year. So I, I suppose it's... It, it, um, it's changing, I suppose, a little bit. It's a little bit like America now, where all the big races kind of are getting spread out over the whole year because when new big races come on on the stream, they have to find a slot that everybody can uh, go to. So it, it is, um, but this time of the year is busy, and and, uh, and I suppose it is exciting as well, Richie. Well, Aidan, thank you so much, therefore, uh, for spending the time to chat to her this morning and letting us know we cannot wait to see uh, City of Troy in action in the Dewhurst. We wish him the best of luck. Wish you the best of luck in the coming weeks with all your international challenges. I appreciate it, Rishi. Thanks, thanks very much. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.